What's going on? Guys, big welcome to you all to our channel. We are Team Crushing the Meta today here, here with D Boy, and we are back with the last game and the final game between the Bruce deck and the Overlord deck. So we have already played two games, and the first game, Overlord went first and it lost because the fact that it didn't really was able to ride into the Overlord. And with that, it lost a lot of its potential, especially because it would not put the pressure up high at the start of the game. The second game was won by the Overlord deck because the Bruce deck wasn't able to get the Bruce to the hand, so no Persona ride. And with that, you actually get way less attacking power than the deck should do. So with that, we see the flaws and the good things about each and every deck. There are three, uh, actually there are four videos for you guys in the description section below that you guys could check out before watching this video. The first one is a deck profile of the Bruce deck because we don't have all the cards revealed yet. The second one is a video that we talked about how this match would look like and what are the good and bad things about each and, each and every deck. Uh, I mean, each of these two tech <laughs> that will face each other, where will be the flaws and what's the conclusion that we could take. And the other two are game one and game two. So this game will be game three. Right, let's jump into it. The Bruce deck will go first as the first time it goes first. The Bruce deck actually does like to go first, of course, as does the Overlord deck. But the problem is the starter. The starter will give you a draw and a quick shield, while this starter will give you nothing, which means you are already at a disadvantage. But that's just the, the starter thing. And we will not change that. It is what it is, so we have to see. The starting of the hand of the Overlords, we see right here, it has grade 1 and grade 2, but no grade 3. So we'll keep the shield grade 2, and we'll take the grade 1 as well, and we'll the others back and we hope to get an overlord we get a perfect guard we get in the holland but we know we don't get an overlord we shuffle we give it he cut oh my bad shuffle again then <laughs> and now we give it cut and uh, this will be the starting hand so grade two grade one grade zero grade two and grade one all right and so now we see the starting hands of the bruise deck no boost and no perfect guard. It's not good. Put everything back. We draw again. Perfect guard. It's good. Hopefully we get a boost. Yes, we do. All right. So this is a very good starting hand for the Bruce deck because we have a PG ready. We have a Bruce ready. So amazing. All right. We shuffle and the starting hand is ready. Right, Bruce stands and draws, discards and rides. Call out of the soul and soul charts. Overlord draws, rides, draws, quick shields and attacks. Rap check. This deck could guard right here with a 15k shield. It's possible, but we could also take some damage first because we do want to heal if we get the ability to heal. So no guard. Front trigger and their drive check was the overlord. Very good. Finally get the overlord, which makes a huge difference. Bruce turn. Stand and draw. Now we get the ability to discard and ride. Soul charge. Draw. If we want to put pressure, we could a little bit more. But we could also wait for Bruce and we just attack with this because we don't know if they have a 15k shield or not, which they don't, so they would take the attack. Drive check, a draw trigger, that's good. We draw one. And one damage for Overlord. Stand and draw. A perfect guard, that's not bad. Great twos, we have multiple to write from. We could keep the Nahalem and the, the, the shield value in the hand and write into this, and then we could call the shield value to the field. And uh, with that, we could attack first with this. Then they will discard a 5k. So we could also gamble on doing this, getting a trigger and hitting that. Now, we could actually go for 15k or do to pass or no pass. But we could also let it through because hopefully get a trigger and this will not hit. First, nothing. 
damage, nothing. So this will attack and now you actually would want to guard. So stand and draw and now we discard something to ride. Since we have two Richards, although they are good attackers, we could actually discard one and, uh, and ride. So we ride and then we could call the other one right here. And then if the Overlord deck decides to attack us, then we don't have that much attackers for next turn. So that is not the best idea, but we have to put a little bit of pressure on the opponent, right? So we will just do it. And then we could call the Great One as well, but then the Overlord will have even more to, to, uh, to retire. So you could also do it differently. You could also discard this to ride into Bruce and then you have less shield on hand, but you do have good attackers on hand. For me, I actually would just like to do it like this. Uh, keep all the others on hand and just attack the Vanguard. Uh, right here, they could let this attack go through. So first, the front, this will get power. And the second is another great two, so it's good. And then uh, take one damage, nothing. This could hit for 20. If they want to guard, they could. They could do this. That's possible. So they would. Because they don't want to take too much damage. Stand and uh, they draw. Now there's two things that they could do. They could go for Overlord right away, or they could first go to this, make some markers, and then go to the Overlord later. Uh, that's also possible. Uh, we have the bar, so we could call that Soul Blast, Count Blast, and of course Retire, and plus five. All right, don't really have anything else that we want to call. We want to keep the Hall and keep the Overlord, keep everything else, so this will be attacking turn if this attack is only 5k for the opponent to guard you could also gamble on attacking with this first pretty much up to you i think for me i would attack with this first force them to discard a 5k which in this case actually they want to keep their attackers so they will just discard a 15k and this will attack gain plus 5k as well no guard first draw power and draw second it's not a curse dragon one damage for the boost deck. Stands and draw. Draw heal. Okay, interesting. Right. We are, of course, also in final rush. We draw. Ooh, okay, interesting draw. And the front row again, extra 10k. Now we need some attackers. This is a good attacker. This is also a good attacker because it will give us lots of soul. Right. So, attack, activate the ability, soul charge 2. Here we go. PG is gone, and then they could guard with a 10k because this is just 18, uh, or they would let this attack go through and try to guard the others. I think it's smart to guard this, although it costs you two cards from hand, but that is better. So guard this for the attack, gain plus 5k. Of course, this is an added grade two for me, but yeah. So take this one. Bruce attacks. So plus one, two, three, four, and five. And with that, these two will be stands. Right, so now you could PG this attack because you don't want to take too much damage. Then the drive check first, second, heal trigger, which will actually go off. Heal one, gain power. Attack, let this attack go through. Attack, soul charge two, one, and two. You're sitting at four soul, it's really good. And then the overlord actually could take this attack as well. Stand and draw. You see right here, the overlord deck is actually at a disadvantage. Even if we have ridden to the overlord first, could have perfect per guarded or guarded. And it's just because this deck makes way more attacks. And actually the, 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 the Persona right mechanic is superior as long as you could use it. Overlord skill by soul blasting and 10k power. And now you could actually call this to the field because even holding a Harlem, uh, you're not waiting. You have okay defensive hand, but you need to hit the heal trigger right here. The overlord will attack first. You actually will PG and not gamble on this attack. 
and you could discard the vanilla right here or keep it on hand for next turn so you could just discard a 15k you're giving up shield but that's the way you need to play first a heal trigger that's very good and a power and the second one is another heal trigger oh this actually makes a huge difference in the game you see right here heals to make a difference and now this attacks this game plus 5k so it becomes 20k shield to guard which is really irritating so they would have to take this attack and this will attack and me i would actually take this attack as well so i could heal and they could not draw trigger that's good draw and then draw again on the next turn so stab draw final rush and we're ready to go we don't have the boost right here but we could still make some good attacks um, add to the fact that we could create soul and still multi-attack uh, some people would argue on calling the steve right here because it's actually better because it gained the plus 5k that's fine would rather have this there but it's now on this side so you can't really do much about it yep so that's pretty much it so now we could attack we could first create soul but first attack on this side so this would be gain plus 5k so this would be 15 to the vanguard they could intercept this attack boost this soul charge one and two and now this attack could go through so take one damage it's a trigger whoa game attack soul blast one two three four and five stand and stand now you need to guard this attack they could do a two to pass first second nothing this hits the rear guard and so pretty much you can't do much you wasted your soul but yeah see with this if you have gotten a front trigger then it would have been a different case stand and draw right here could ride into another overlord give the marker to here soul blast and gain power move this up that's it attack with the overlords now you need to perfect guard discard a draw and a drive check first second critical trigger power and crits this attacks this is a lot this is 28 so for them to guard this they actually need this and this or they could intercept that's 33 next stand and we draw Ooh, this is also a good card to draw but um we could also wait until we could restand it and hopefully get another steep we are in final rush although we could not restand our stuff right now in this turn we could still create some soul so we actually keep everything else in our hand that is also good plus 5k when it attacks so we could just attack with this first for the opponent needs to do at least a two to pass so they would do your trap check one a crit let's actually give everything to this second a boost very good for next turn this attacks let's go soul charge one and two this would be 16 21 31 so they need to make the 33 right here this with this attack would only be a 5k so normally you can just guard that stand and draw hold me hold him upgrade the ability retire and plus 5k overlord skill plus 10k you could actually call this right here to check out but then you lose cards from hand that's really not that good so you actually would rather keep it on hand and yeah you would just attack so right here you could hit with the overlord first at least try to hit this is 43 that's a lot we don't have perfect guard but we have this which will put us at 63 so yeah because this is 
50, 60, 63. So there's actually a two to pass. We could go with this and say no pass, which is good. So first heal trigger, go off again. Plus five, okay. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Okay, so second drive check. It's not. So we guard it, now we attack. This would be still a 15k, so that's a 5k shield. And right here you could give up the 5k shield because this will power up and this would be the one that you want to restand. And the other attacker will be this. Or you could try to uh, take this attack and guard that, but that doesn't really make any sense. So you guard and they will attack with this. Now they could hit the Rygard, that is actually not that uh, bad to do and because you give up your 10k you have to take this attack and that would be smart so that we just do that All right now stand and draw that's very good you write and of course you are in final rush now you draw because this is a persona right and this also would be the end of the opponent because now you could call and call god bless you plus 15 what do you think, Fira? Is it, is it a strong turn? Um, <laughs> I'm just uh, <laughs> so here in a minute, you. so <laughs> I don't know what's happening, but it <laughs> looks very strong. <laughs> what's happening is this deck is killing this deck. <laughs> ah, okay. And they could just attack because because you persona ride. Persona ride is when you ride on the top of your grade three with the same grade 3. That's yeah. something that the new grade 3s will do. Okay. You could give the front row plus 10k and you draw. So now this by itself is 13, 23, 33, 38. It's very strong. And Overlord have to take the damage. No. Yeah, it's a trigger. So he gets power. the power. And this attack, it still needs lots of shield. But because they have a heal trigger, they could actually guard this attack with the heal. And now this attacks, you saw blast one, two, three, four, and five. And now you could restand these two. So this is the same if you put the 15k shield right here, then it's two two pass. But you have a small problem that you could not guard two attacks. But that's okay, you hope that they don't get the double trigger. So first Second, nothing. Then this attacks the finger. You have to let one go through. And this attacks the finger, and now you could just perfect guard this attack. Okay. Yep. yep, yep <laughs> Only yep. this one is left. Yeah. It's like well, But this deck doesn't have cards <laughs> to attack next <laughs> turn. So even if the overlord deck doesn't really do much that you see right here, because you soul charge so much in the Bruce deck, you actually lose because of that. Although people would have said you could have put some boosters behind this and try to finish the Overlord deck off, that's a possibility. But in this match, we just wanted to let you guys see what the two decks are capable of. I hope that you guys learned from this. I hope that it became clear what the two decks are capable of, especially in facing each other. Like the PGs for this deck made a huge difference versus the other deck. And in this deck, the double heal that this deck got in this game also made the difference otherwise if the deck would lose also having the trigger now also made some difference all right guys thank you all for watching thank you for tuning in at our channel thank you for subscribing liking and commenting and we will see you in the next video okay bye 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 bye